Shalom Akim. All praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rachar Kodash, double honesty, apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well. Peace, salutations, and blessings to your sincere Akim out there pushing the truth across the four corners of the earth. All right, and um, yeah, I just looked, look, looked up this word because, you know, now Esau is definitely in the time where. You know, seeing that uh, their empires at the end, you know, they're really trying to make adjustments, you know, make it great again. Like I said, um, we would have healed Babylon if it could be healed. You know, take bomb for it, but it's not going to be healed. There's nothing you could do. All right. And uh, one of the things that you notice oh, uh, in the recent couple of years that they've cracked down on is DEI. You know, anytime they see Jake in a certain position, so he's, a, he's a DEI hire or whatever the fuck, not even knowing your qualifications or anything. He's a, he's a D, which, you know, ultimately this is you, Edomites, um, putting certain people in, you know, certain positions. All right, then you want to cry foul, or oh, we just had to put them in that position, you know. So now they have a justification for taking you out of that position. You know, Esau's the devil, man. They, it's damn, with him, it's damned if you do, damned if you don't. They always have an angle. They always have some type of, um, you know, ulterior motive. Like the scriptures say, if they do good, they do it unwillingly. All right. And Jake, Jake don't get that. Uh, Jake thinks that we're really progressing. We're really, um, you know, in a new place it's, it's the same shit right? it's the same shit now they only put you in that position um for their own personal agenda and when when that when when, when they when when you lose your value all right for you either being a representation you know for you being a representation of them or for you to try to run to your people and, and garnish uh support and help you know, their brand or whatever, then they discard, you know, after they're done with you, they discard you. Right? And Jake still don't, don't learn. Yet all these Jakes caping for, uh, <laughs> Mamala, that, that hot mess, you know, which is all, all, all the whole political sphere is bullshit, but you yeah, had Jake really caping for this woman. All right. She's not one of your people. It's only Israel, man. Esau, you cannot DEI your way into the kingdom of heaven. Now, it's not going to be no... Just like now, they have their rulership. You know what I'm saying? Whoever they... they, they hey, the earth is given into the, their hands for, for a short time. Whoever they put in power, that's who you put in power. All right? Well, the scriptures say, when the wicked rule, the most vile men are exalted. That's what you see. The people who are willing to do whatever and exploit themselves all right hey the 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 ladies too whatever whatever woman is that exploits herself that you know the, the kim kardashian the whoever that's why they put those people in those positions the vilest are exalted right the the fakes yeah you can't it's either mice they can say all they want to but the script says what he believeth that on me, as the scripture have said. You have to believe on the Lord, as the scriptures have said. Meaning, you have to go through the, you have to go through the precepts of of uh, processing things. All right, there's no, there's not going to be any DEI, other nations <laughs> in key positions in the kingdom of heaven. No, it's not going to happen. And I got a couple of precepts for that. The Lord is only dealing with his people and of his people. He's not even dealing with all of us. He's only dealing with the elect. All right. Baruch four and three. He said, I change not. He never changed. Give not thine honor to another. Nor the things that are profitable un unto thee. To a strange nation. All right. Not giving the things that are profitable. All these things written about, these are all profitable. Uh, ultimately, for the spirit, the certain things are profitable. You know, other other ways as well for your, you know, for your health, 
or your pockets or whatever. <clears throat> but it's all ultimately about the spirit. It's about building up and strengthening the spirit. All right. Um, so why would we give these things that are profitable to a strange nation? Why would we allow them to rule with us when they Psalms 83 us? Right? They sat here and shook hands with Esau. They sat here and watched us and mocked us, as the scriptures say. I wagged the finger and hiss, <laughs> you know, laughed at us. And it says, oh, Israel, happy are we for things that are pleasing to the most high are made known unto us. Be of good cheer, my people, the memorial of Israel. Ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved the most high to wrath. You were delivered unto the enemies. For ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to the most high. Ye have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up. And ye have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. For when she saw the wrath of the most high coming upon you, she said, Hearken, O ye that dwell about Zion, the most high hath brought upon me great mourning. For I saw the captivity of my sons and daughters, which the everlasting brought upon them. With joy did I nourish them but sent them away with weeping and mourning. All right, and that's basically the point. Yep, verse 15, for he had brought a nation upon them from far, a shameless nation and of a strange language who have reverenced old men, who, who need, excuse me, who need the reverence old man, nor pity child. All right, here it is. <laughs> you look at us, man. You look at the other nations. You know, they have their elders. They have their children or whatever. they never been through it. The scriptures say, what nation have, have been through what we've been through? Who who went through this? I especially, man, some, man, 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 man. And I'm talking about on all levels. Financial. All levels, just. Just on a on a on a health level, they they they're just, just constantly attacking us. You know, seeking us out. We get no rest. Literally, since we got here, man, we've had no rest. There ain't been no breaks. Ain't been no vacations. This man never put his sword down. And right, now we get to the kingdom, and the people of the Lord are exalted, and. and <laughs> Esau, you think it's gonna be a, a DEI in the kingdom? Nah. So you can cut, you can cut all that shit that you want, you know. Because Jake, the thing about Jake is, we don't need, um, we never needed uh, 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 any uh, DEI in the first place. All right, you guys came to us because of who we were. Right? And because they knew the word, we were of another strength than them. These Edomites have always known that. All right, they study us. They study Jake. They 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 study. They put a lot of money into advertisement, and um, a lot of money into uh, like the whole meta thing. People actually use that. They use people's posts. They find what Jake is into the the trends, the dances, you know, the style of music. All right, they take that and then they figure out how they can exploit that and make money off of that. And that's basically what um, a lot of what America has been. All right, Esau never reverenced old man nor pity child. These have, if Baruch 4.16, these have carried away the dear beloved children of the widow and left her that was alone, desolate, without daughters. All right, Israel is a comely and a delicate woman. So all of this is because that woman went off and uh, dealt with not uh, not one other man, but other men and became a whore and just let them do whatever. So the Lord put, put, put that woman through hell. Verse 27, be of good comfort, O my children. And cry unto the Most High. See, that's step one, is repentance. All right, step one is repentance. 
For ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. For as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned, seek him ten times more. And right, that's the that's that's the catch. That woman gets to come back. She gets to be made pure again, a virgin again, but she has to show um, uh, her her uh, repentance. She has to turn back. All right, and what is equity anyway? Let's see. This is right equity, my yashar. Evenness, uprightness, straightness, all right, evenness, and, and justice. Let me get a better definition. Yep, equity. It says justice, right, and practice. Equity is the impartial distribution of justice. So equity should be practiced, and it is. It's going to be. It's going to be impartiality, but to, it's going to be order. Shit, We're going to be in power. I don't mean one nation is not going to be in power over other nations just because it's equity. Esau say that they'll finally put Jake in, in some position and then, oh, see, we only did it because of this. Yeah, well. What about the fact that you pretty much castrated the guy in the first place and, and they have been for, for hundreds of years and are continuing to do so? And then try to hide. You're, you're trying to actively hide it, and trying to try, trying to lie about it at the same. Like, what are you what are you talking about? Like, what are you talking about? Jake makes it work. Jake is that 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 it says the form of all things. All right, and they know that. They know we have a special touch. They know that when we, especially with like a. The earth, you know, planting this stuff, they'll say Jake has that green thumb. Well, first off, number one, Esau, you were cursed from the beginning so that the earth would not give its full yield to you. But then number two, shit, what if we, <laughs> we've been mastering these things for, for since the beginning? All right, we're the people that come from, we're, we're the ancients of this planet. Right, hey, I'll right, quote Psalm 98 that the Lord shall judge the people with equity. All right, Esau's system, your court systems, your 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 your, your judicial, you know, none of that stuff is is it has real equity in it. They take you, they put you through the ringer, they're charging you, charge you for this, charge you for that. Got to run you, bring you back to court for this trial, bring you back for for a little petty shit. And the whole time they're getting court calls. Oh, this justice, justice, justice. And all the, the permissions and licenses that you need to, to be able to do certain shit. Now, the scriptures say, he that destroyeth another man's livelihood is the same as a bloodshedder. Esau could take, you know, if you because you know, if you want to have a certain, be able to make a certain money, you got to be licensed in something, you know. They they gatekeep all those different things. You know, license this, license that. I got a license to do this, and then at any point they can they can repeal that license. They can completely take away your livelihood. Uh, yeah, you you guys are the devil. Yeah, th these people don't don't read the scriptures, man, and try to. It, the only way you you guys can come up with with the conclusion of. You know, spirit, we're spiritual Israel. We're all spiritual Israel and we're all going to be in the... No, no, no. The only way you can come up with that is if you skipped over so many scriptures, hundreds of scriptures, probably thousands. This is Zephaniah 3 and... fourteen. because this is what's going to happen. Matter of fact, verse 13 with the elect. The remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity, nor speak lies, neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth, for they shall feed and lie down, and none shall make them afraid. Alright? So Russia is not going to come back and make us afraid and challenge us again. 
Sing, O daughter of Zion, shout, O Israel, be glad and rejoice with all the heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord hath taken away thy judgments, he hath cast out thine enemy. The king of Israel, even the Lord, is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt not see, it, in, see evil any more. In that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear thou not, and to Zion, let not thy hands be slack. The Lord thy power in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over, over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly who are tour of thee to whom the reproach of it was a burden. Behold, at that time I will undo all that afflict thee and I will save her that halteth and gather her that was driven out. And see, that's the thing. We were driven out of our land. And then you guys <laughs> took over our shit. Now all of a sudden they then drove the people of the Lord out, took over their land, parted it between themselves, and now the Lord is going to let them rule with us? What? That's not justice. That's not <laughs> That's not making things right. All right? <laughs> so you guys try to play the Heavenly Father for a sucker. Like he can't see the, the intentions of men in the, uh, and through the, their own bullshit. Nah, and it don't work like that. He sees everything. All right, see, I can see it my damn self. <laughs> the elect can sure see it. It says, and I will, I will save her that halteth and gather her that was driven out, and I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. I right, see the Lord is righteous, man. He's going, he's going, he's going to have his people set up righteously. All right, everything is going to be reversed back to good. At that time will I bring you again, even in that time that I gather you, for I will make you a name and a praise among all the people of the earth when I turn back your captivity before your eyes, said the Lord. I used to have Israelites who were, who were um, in indentured servants or shit, active servants. Right, active slaves, namely here in Babylon. <laughs> All right, this shit, this shit they got now is damn near impossible. It's damn near impossible for you to to uh, enjoy all of life. You know, everybody I know, from up to up to you know people who are sixty five and and up, they're still working. They probably, that's the number one priority: work. Why? Right, because you're a slave. Right, but here it is, you've been a slave. All these other people, they get ease, summer home, they get to fly all over the earth, but all of a sudden, the kingdom of heaven comes and we're all just everything is okay now. Nah, man. You you no. You reap what you sow. All right? The farmers who they didn't throw no seed out, they ain't gonna get no returns. You know, they ain't gonna make no money. The ones who did and and, and you know, they tilled the field correctly and did everything. They more than likely you're gonna get a, a bountiful yield. <clears throat> right? And and the same with Esau shit. Let us say he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. You guys went around the world fucking everybody up. Okay, did they maybe have some um certain um Divisions among them, did they have certain uh, ways which were not correct? Yeah, sure, you can you can argue that. Right, these, you know, these are heathens. Of course, they have some uh, barbaric shit that they do to each other or whatever, which is going to be corrected. But <clears throat> you didn't judge righteously. Right, the Lord used you. He said, behold... <laughs> All right, Psalms 37 to 14. Matter of fact, let's start up. Psalms 37 and 9. Somebody has to be the, 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 the evil doers, the wicked, the ones who start the bullshit. 
right, for evil doers should be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. So the wicked have to be set up for a certain time, which is now. It says, But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. And the scripture is written in code. You know, the meek is talking about the elect. The wicked plotteth against the just. And gnash it upon him with his teeth. And that's what happens. Shit. The, the, what to say? The, the, the great cheek teeth of a lion. The, the cheek teeth are like the cheek teeth of a lion. Yeah, they, they had uh, they had some considerable strength and military power, which they still do. Right, but you're not fighting, you're fighting against the Lord ultimately. Says the Lord shall laugh at him, <laughs> for he seeth that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and slay such as be of upright conversation. Their sword shall enter their own heart and their bow shall be broken. Yep. So all of your strength and all of your greatness and all of you know the industri industrial um, accomplishments and all of your warfare, your tactics, your, all of this shit is going to come to naught. All right. Hey, Proverbs 17, 26. Also, to punish the just is not good. See, that's what they did. See, yeah, ultimately Israel went off. Ultimately, the Heavenly Father said, our rock has sold us. But you guys went above and beyond. Like the scripture said, I did all kind of shit that was unlawful, according to the scriptures. Destroy a man, his house and his heritage. And then destroy his image from history. And then you other nations, you helped them, too, because you guys have history of us. You just you just uh, selective, you know, of what you show. But it says also to punish the just is not good, nor to strike princes for equity, meaning for, for justice. Right? You basically uh, flog some, beat somebody, flog somebody. And that's what they did, man. You struck princes. But, uh, hey, all things are going to be <laughs> re, re, uh, repaid in full. Best believe, Lord willing, this is edifying. You know, the nation, the, the kingdom of heaven is going to be ruled by the Israelites with the elect being at the top. And you Edomites are going to be all at the bottom. Ain't going to be no DI. Ain't going to be no uh, uh, random, like like Jake could do in the hood. It's my random white friend. Nah, none, none of that bullshit. It's not gonna happen. There ain't gonna be no random Elamite. Nah. All of our people are gonna come back. They're gonna get their their, their full um, complexions back, full features back. All blemishes are gonna disappear. Shalom to the elect. <laughs>